the pilgrims finally arrive in the oh-so-great province of Trevisetta, one whose influence and shadow seems to follow them wherever they go. Much like the smokestacks that cover the skyline above, it is an industrial city, much akin to Politrios, but where the southern desert province runs on water, Trevisetta subsists on fire. The life tree, Querencia, provides a strange heat in the region of High Paramios, and as a result, pockets of magma deep beneath the ground powers the factories and facilities housed within the Great Walls that keep out all manner of deadly creatures lurking just out over the border. If only the life of the commoner were nearly as secure. You wow. are greeted by what appears to be a captain of sorts, a blue dragonborn, very tall, very built, adorned in heavy, dark plate that's seen many battles. It's got scratches and chipped pieces and dents and grooves all over. Uh, and sitting at his waist seems to be a very beat up mace that's also seen a lifetime of use. Uh, and he salutes you all. Let me find his portrait. Yes, show us the art. Yes, Alright, he better not be hot because if he's hot... <laughs> Please be hot, please be hot, please be hot. I don't know. Ah, he is. There he is. Oh, he's kind of hot. <laughs> He gives you all a salute, Captain Arzire of the Olinthi Official Guard of Trevisetta. Good to see you safe, pilgrims. Pleasure is ours. Pleasure. Mm. I salute back. <laughs> Are you trying to like imitate his his form? Yes. Well, not like 100%, but I'll give like a half-hearted one. Mm. I'm trying to be polite here. He doesn't seem to pay any mind to it. He is... Do you run into fights often here? And I'll gesture to his armor. Fights often? Mm. Does he run into them often? I see. Mm. The occasion, yes. Ruffians, thieves, brigands, the like. Especially more recently, as of late. But that is more news for you to discuss with the Lord. Ah. Nice. Discuss it we shall. He... He seems to be followed by a small party of other guards, not just uh, of a lengthy official in their uniform, but also what looks to be others, private mercenaries, one might guess. Huh. Hmm. And how many is he followed by? Oh, he's followed by like a dozen in total. Oh, wow. Arm to the teeth. Are we being like honor guarded or? You are, or yes. Just... They they okay. seem to be ready for you to join them. We will be taking you directly to Lord Tejero now. He has an urgent mission for you. But please follow me and do not stray. Oh, what a treat. <sighs> I was hoping we would be urgently going to the dragon, but I suppose we should check in with Lord Tejero as well. I definitely, as we're traveling, want to look around and see if the security is excessive like if it's the same in the surrounding area in general or if it's just for us and if the mercenary groups or the you know army for hire numbers or outnumbers like how they are compared to it looks like actual guards yeah you can give me a perception check okay don't fail me you big fat die <laughs> Oh, yeah. hot damn. You Woo. see that security is both tight and loose. Tight in the sense that there's a lot of guards here. It is, the guard population is fairly dense, mostly of the private kind of um, mercenaries that seem to wear a very similar outfit as some of the ones that are accompanying you, but they seem very lax. A few of them just kind of dozing off it seems not really taking their job very seriously but there are a lot of them some of them on rooftops some of them banging on doors a few of them arguing with pedestrians and just not really holding that much of a professional decorum okay but there's a lot of them they're not professional and you said they have similar uh clothing does that mean that they are under a unified force that isn't the city can i glean that yes you can glean that it's uh actually since you have a wand with the sigil, you know that these are um, guards, a part of the House Baztan private military. It is a oh boy. very big business here in Trevisetta. All of these people that are wearing these, like all these guards that you were referencing. Yeah, the like ones wearing. The and arguing are Baztan mer mercenaries. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just the two. Yeah, just the two groups. Uh, the okay. Alinthi official guards do seem to be a little bit more dense than you would usually see in any other province, but yeah. still kind of like what you would expect, especially as you do hear the city is 
kind of a roar with shouting, yelling every now and then, but it seems as though yeah. plenty of people don't really pay that much mind. Okay, people keep their heads down. Mm-hmm. I guess just follow, continue to l- yeah. let them yeah. lead us to Lord Tahera. Let's bring cart.jpg and... Uh... <laughs> Yes, you bring cart.jpg, uh, the horses follow behind as well, and the guards kind of uh, shadow that as well. And as you walk through the city, you are also greeted by tall buildings completely adorned in paintings and posters and advertisements galore. Grab a drink at the Heavenly Peak. Join the House Baztan private army to fight off the blot and protect your province. Special deal on courtesans this night only. Tejero potions, Tejero potions, Tejero potions everywhere. Discount mm. prostitutes. <laughs> Courtesans, you know. Sorry, discount courtesans. <laughs> <laughs> Double price. Does court- it say? <laughs> does it say the, the the amount of the discount on the courtesans? Off courtesans? No, actually, when you look, when you try to take a second glance, it's not quite clear what the discount even is. In fact, there's not even a date listed. <laughs> Ugh. False advertising. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> the greatest spinning. crime of all. <laughs> So, um... When you lie to people, you don't uh, keep lying. While, while we're walking with... How do you say his name? Arzir? Arzir? Ar- we can go with Arzir. Arzir. That sounds easier to say, Arzir. actually. Arzir. <laughs> um, um, while I'm walking, I'll say... So, um, I noticed on the signs there's reference to the blot. Do you, is that still a pretty big issue this side of town? Very much so, considering we sit on the border between Alinti and Odeosia, a breeding ground for the blot. Have, uh, have the blot been, I guess, any, any worse in the recent, in like recent times, or been about par? Not in direct ways. You may have heard, and he kind of hushes down to a whisper. There have been increasing numbers of people falling victim to a disease that seemed to be connected to the blood. It it is not hidden information, but it has many folk, especially on this side of the kingdom, in a bit of concern. Some, as far as panic. But if you do, if you do mean a blood attacks, you need not worry. The Royal Guard, as well as the mercenaries, have done a great job making sure that not a single drop gets past the walls. And uh, Arzir is Bastan, right? No, he so is a, uh, oh, no, so an official. Just confusing. Got it, got it, got it. I was just confusing. Mm-hmm. Okay. All, all good. Is it a rapidly fatal disease? I don't know too much about it. Uh, luckily, as we know now, not so, but our best clerics are looking into what the symptoms its effects, and the potential cure for it. As of now, those victim to it are quarantined and under suspect, as there are implications as to how one contracts that disease that do not bode well for the individual. Where are they kept quarantined? That is classified information. Gotcha. And while you are being escorted through the crowds, uh... You see that they do, like, some every now and then odd pedestrian gets pushed aside kind of forcefully by the guards that are escorting you. But uh, it seems as though they once they do, they just kind of go back about their business. Seems as though it's the norm here. And you notice among the crowds that are kind of watching you, uh, there is one particular that stands out in a, under a very ornate colorful umbrella and using a paper fan aggressively it's a very familiar looking lizard folk woman flanked by two heavily armored figures it is Luzia Bastan the lizard folk you arrested in Viserly and it seems that she's come to observe your entrance into the city I could have sworn how is she not in jail yeah hold on a minute Hmm. oh queen I still have her wand you do (laughs) hold on let me show the portrait for those who may not remember is this one of those it's only illegal if you're too poor to make bail situations oh there yeah. she is uh, still dressed beautiful. in her very ornate garb being flanked by her own personal guards <sighs> well we I should have like just taken her we should have just taken her <laughs> taken her <laughs> to jail oh. <laughs> ourselves 
Well, we did. I think we did take her to jail. I mean, did we yeah. gave her over to, to the authorities. I agree. We should take her. <laughs> yeah, no, not, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's just keep keep things simple. Let's. Is she talk like to this. the monarch, or is she like the daughter of the family? Are you mm -hmm. asking the matriarch, Arzir? Uh, just kind of saying it loud enough for him to answer if he mm -hmm. knows. Mm -hmm. Oh, Madame Bastan. Uh, she is the Duchess of the House Bastan. She is the sole proprietor, if that is what you mean. She's like. Ooh, can I ask, what do you think of her? <laughs> Give me a persuasion. Yeah, I'm this just, guy feels yeah. very professional. I'm just curious. I'm probably not gonna... That's perception, that's not persuasion. Uh, oh, My I don't mind know would be I'm... blown if he was lying to me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not lying. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. He seriously ponders this question for a little bit. My personal feelings are not relevant to the, my duty. Mm. My job is to follow the orders of the Lordship of Olympi, not to have strong opinions. If I wished to have strong opinions, I would not be a royal guard. Could I insight check to see if he does have strong opinions? You may, yes. <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Ah, uh, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> You see that he seems a bit restless. There, uh, as if there's a he's he's a man with concerns outside his control. Uh, like he's trying to like convince himself when he's like, oh, no, I'm not. It'd be weird for me to be bothered by stuff. You you can tell he's he clearly is bothered, but yeah. uh, just in general. Does a duchess count as royalty? Uh, in wow. in this sense, no. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say it out loud. Does a what? duchess what? count as royalty? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not entirely sure what their political hierarchy is in this city. If she mm. isn't, she definitely wants to be. <laughs> well, she certainly seems influential. Going up in the world. <laughs> Indeed. I am rather surprised to see her. Last we heard, I believe she was detained in the vicinity of Politrios. Mm, yeah. I wonder how that went. The legal system <laughs> must work very quickly around here. You see that he's trying <laughs> to keep a poker face, but <laughs> he is glancing like like his eye is like glancing, and he is very clearly disturbed by such information being presented. But he is. Oh, he didn't, he didn't know. know. He is definitely My trying goodness. to keep himself stalwart. Mm. Well, hopefully she comports herself a little more uh, responsibly. Seems a few of the guards whisper amongst themselves at these comments as well. <laughs> ah, when I spread... I was about to say misinformation, but it's not. <laughs> are, is it the guards that are wearing, like, city guard uniforms or the no, Baztan? the Baztan guards. Oh, good. Oh. Wait, what? I We're making that, enemies. Sorry. Yeah, well, we're, we're <laughs> exacerbating enemies. And by we, I mean me. Sorry about that. Oh, did you pick I, off like, nah, the, the local no. guards or your family? The I kind of well, started it. Let, uh, let me take the fall. I started it. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking oh. bad about people in front of their friends. She got arrested. <laughs> she did we get arrested. We were there. <laughs> yeah. We did it. <laughs> can, I, can I wave at her? Uh, <laughs> you can, yes. When you oh. do, she just like her... Her uh, one of the guards at her flank just pulls the umbrella down to cover her face, <laughs> without even like okay. a flinch. I'm just happy. I huh. am happy. As you continue to pass by the uh, civilians, you see that at every step that you take, dirty, poor, malnourished pedestrians, some sleeping on the stone walkways before being jolted awake by a guard's kick, some arguing amongst each other, and some glancing your way with very mixed expressions. Okay, a uh, couple I... of questions. So we're not inside the walls yet? No, you are. You are inside the walls now. Okay, mm. yeah. Okay, never mind then. Um, I got a question for Azir. So, I see a lot of these, um, Smokestacks. I imagine you must have a pretty booming uh, industrial workforce here. Uh, a lot of folks in this area work for Tejero, or uh, yes, very much so. Uh, not for Tejero specifically, although he does uh, own the largest potion producer in all of Elinti. Uh, odds are, most of your potions possibly have his sigil on them. Hmm. 
I look at my potion. <laughs> yep, you yeah. can see Tahero potions labeled at the mm. very bottom of the glass. Huh. Maiden Trevor set of property. Oh yeah, th- it seems that's correct. Um, I guess there must be then other factory owners in this in this town. I presume well, anyway. Quite a few, but most are also subsidiaries of Lord Tahero's company. Mm-hmm. So the answer is no. It is more complicated than that. Works like magic. I gotcha. He tries to pay not much mind at that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Do, um... Can I just, like, kind of make reference to the... You said that there's a lot of, like, um... Are we... Are we... Are there more, I guess, poor as we're getting, like, down, like... Like closer into the city, or uh, less so. Like it's more so kind of at the base, and you start to approach kind of more like a stairway that starts to lead in closer to the center, to like this large castle towards the upper parts of the city, where you do see less and fewer and fewer uh, kind of poor folk sitting, you know, by the street and stuff. The reason I bring up the um, the it seems like there, I imagine there's. Quite a few jobs to go around here. Always potions need producing. Is but it. Can it seems like more per- gods. <laughs> right. I mean, imagine there's a lot of work here. It's a big enough city. It's there. Kind of hard times falling on here. I see a lot of um, people seem to be down on their luck. Uh, there is always work to be offered, both by the mercenaries of House Bas Ten as well as some smaller adventurers guilds that try to crop up and assist in the fight against the blot over the border. However, it seems as though, for some reason or another, many choose not to or are unable to pick up such careers. That is not my area of expertise, unfortunately. I am not privy to the deeper economics of our city. It does seem a less than ideal environment in which to experience an illness. I imagine it would spread quite quickly in such conditions. Indeed. Thus are quarantines quick and prompt, as are orders of the Lord. As as he likes to say, we cannot afford to waste medicine on those who cannot make sure that uh, Trevisetta is also safe. Is that what he says? <laughs> That's what I always say. If you, if you don't want to get sick, don't do it. <laughs> It is less so about wanting to get sick, and more so are the sick able to protect the city itself. Traditionally, the sick are not capable of much other than getting better. Mm. They're really bad at it, too, from what I've seen. Perhaps... Does this city have some form of cleric guild or healing house? It does, yes. Uh, It is along that path, and he points kind of this way towards... There is a healer's uh, kind of station. Oh, right there near the top. Further in, uh, yeah, in the city, you may notice this little cross right here. Yes. The medical center provides for people who are able to afford it, as it is very, very good care and make sure to take care of its patients to the best of its ability. The strongest and most educated of healers reside there. I see. You... Seem. Are you alright, Pilgrim? I apologize that this may seem as a culture shock to you, considering you are on the other side of the country. I understand that it may seem strange, our way of life, but I promise you that it is what works for us. It is quite different from what I'm accustomed to, but I shall keep an open mind. I thank you. It's actually pretty terrible. It seems like this Cannonburger hasn't made it over here. <laughs> yeah, I apologize, oh, Cannonburger. Do you have a different one? It's like a uh, restaurant back home. Yeah. I see. It's making its rounds. It'll it'll find its way here. Like a franchise or a chain, you could probably get set up here. That'd be nice. Well, I for one would welcome the way the chance to extend my cuisine palette. Good stuff. So are we, like, in the upper area now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, while you continue on your path, you start to reach the higher elevation of the castle, and kind of 
with your passive perceptions, you can see outside of the walls, there are some peculiar looking humanoids. Uh, what makes them look peculiar is, aside from looking like typical dwarves, elves, humans, etc., they seem to have a something strange about them that you can't quite tell. They, but uh, it's easy, what you can tell is from their movement and demeanor, they're tired and dirty. They seem to be huh. doing some manual labor of some kind, moving crates, pulling cargo, and the like. And they're all outside the wall, you said? Outside of the wall, yes. Okay, okay. Hmm. Zombies. I was, that's where I thought to. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry, you say you perceive some undead around? Uh, those people look pretty close to what I'd call that, yeah. Oh. Uh, kind of point out there. Uh, perhaps so. Those are the uh, incarcerated criminals that have been uh, tasked with performing community service for Palitrios. Oh, boy. Uh, what, I guess, <laughs> what, what exactly community service are they performing? Right now, from what it looks like, uh, moving imports and exports from the trade center. Well, this is all very interesting. I love this. This is going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> and while while you continue to walk and talk, you hear frantic panic and kind of rapid footsteps approach you. And kind of pushing through the guards, you see a hobgoblin woman, very disheveled, very sweaty, immediately almost getting shoved away, but calling out to you in a panic. Like by name or like Just pilgrims? Pilgrims. Oh, and, what's up? And uh, there she is calling out to you, just kind of, oh, please, pilgrims, please. You've got to help my wife. She's sick. The clerics, they refuse to assist. Please, you're the only ones high enough to speak with, with Lord Tehero. There must be something you can do. And immediately, Captain Arzier just like kind of pushes her aside. I'm sorry, madam. This is official Elinti business. You are a you are overstepping guards, and they all start to pull her away. No, no, no. I'll catch uh, up to I, the rest of you. I'm gonna uh, go towards the woman. Uh, okay. I'm gonna sneak away then. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I used that. You're gonna sneak away. All right. Well, we, uh, g guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> to be clear, I'm not <laughs> sneaking. <laughs> You're not sneaking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Arzir turns around and it's just Buck sitting in the yard. <laughs> I'm like, um, I forgot. I'm like, huh? When you I'm guys jump on the cart and go and go join them, yeah, I want to join the rest of the party. Yeah, I guess. Word, I'm you. Like, wait, wait, wait. I will say, with that high of a roll, you can slip away to do something without the guards noticing you, though. Uh, even if it yeah. isn't uh, initially this, but uh, if you change your mind to do something else, that is a high enough roll that you're lost in the commotion now. <clears throat> okay. I'll think about it for a second. Yeah. Give someone else the spotlight. Yeah. While uh, while you guys do head towards, you can see that Captain Azir, uh, Arzir, is kind of reaching and kind of sputtering to himself. No, you can. <sighs> and so you step over to the panicked hobgoblin woman, and uh, you can see that she is grabbed at both sides by Alinthi official guards that are kind of holding her back. Please let her go. Um. Would you lead me to the person in need of care? She looks up to you, uh, tears in her eyes. Yes, yes, of course, I just... And then one of the guards, a house best hand guard, steps in, holds a hand up to you. Stay your hand, pilgrim. It's not your place to give aid. Especially since you That's not your job, is it? I was under the impression that that was exactly my job. Unless you categorize the salvation of Alinthi in some other box. I do. I consider it you delivering the dragon hearts to the tree and nothing else. Interesting. Well, perhaps when you're pilgrim, you can make that decision. Ma'am, would you be so kind? Oh, give me... Fuck. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you know what? That's... Woo! That's so good. No roll required. The yeah. guard is oh, befuddled. Can I, uh... My charisma's not great. <laughs> <laughs> I want to... Can I push... Uh, is, I keep going to call him Azir, mm -hmm. like from fucking League. How did you pronounce it again, Buck? Ar Arzir. I said Arzir. 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 Is, is can I, I go said. Arzir and like I'm like patting him to walk with us, kind of like, <laughs> you wanted to learn more? Yes, Let's he actually see. gets in between and uh, kind of steps in. Um in between the hobgoblin woman and the other guard, and he whispers to you, kind of very hushed, 
Unfortunately, he is right. The stepping in would be interfering with permitted party business, and that is litigation I insist you do not want, nor does Lord Tejero. If you insist, uh, it may delay your meeting with him, but... Uh, my apologies. Are we not free to move about this city? Under my orders, not yet. I'm sorry. I Could see. we go if you came? He seriously considers this a, a little bit. <laughs> I suppose that would allow official supervision. And you can see he uh, seems to look up at the sky. He's checking the time. <laughs> Very well, but we must be quick. Certainly. And the hobgoblin woman just like grabs both, like your hand with both of hers, uh, mm -hmm. Lyra. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Haste is of the essence. Please lead on. Of course, of course. She leads you along, kind of down the way, back down the stairs, and you can see uh, the longer it takes. Um, Captain Azir looks more and more restless and kind of tapping his foot. And she leads you to her house. And you can see that there is a human woman kind of laying in a bed. And you can see that kind of along her neck seems to be pearlescent glowing scars of some kind. Huh. Pearlescent? Like pearl color? like that. Yes, like kind of oh. glistening, chromatic... And uh, she is laying as if she has a fever, sheets all about her. Hmm. And Captain Arzir, just when he notices this, he quickly steps outside. Hmm. All right. Oh, can I use um, Can I use magic awareness? Um, or I can share it. Magic awareness. Um, okay. Because um, I want to see if what she has is a magical. Oh. Uh. When you sense a spell, you learn which school of magic. Okay. Um. This school of magic. Oh, jeez. What would this be? Transmutation. <laughs> I'm not the one who came up with it. You're Dog, right. That's it all is all you. Baby. Yeah, this is a homebrew <laughs> thing. Oh no! I've homebrewed myself into a corner. <laughs> yeah. Let's say. Let's say it's transmutation. But it is, but but it is some sort of like magic that's on her. It is magical in some way, and meanwhile, uh, I'm gonna say word. Uh, we're not gonna let that stealth go to waste. As you were, kind of, moving about in the shadows, kind of moving around. Uh, did okay. you follow them in, or are you staying outside? Um. I would definitely get a look in if I could, but I would prefer to stay outside. And while we're traveling, I'll look for. Uh, if, if there are any specific buildings that are inscribed more with the Baztan family symbol than not, okay. like trying to see if I can. Uh, the Baztan family sigil uh, symbol is definitely around. It's hard to kind of reach a corner of the street where there isn't a flag hanging somewhere. Okay. Um, as for what you glean from being outside, actually, you, when you see Captain Arzir come out, you hear him. Um, seem to speak into an earpiece of some kind, and he says the words, uh, we've got another one. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. And that is the information you gather from being out of sight and therefore out of mind. <laughs> um. Red, I'll, I'll come out of my magic awareness thing and I'll lean down to Lyra uh, and Fritz to where they can hear me like, Okay, so there's clearly something magical about this. I'm picking up sort of a transmutation vibe, but it's... I don't get the sense that this is natural. Hmm. Well, we'll see what can be done. Uh, I'm going to... We're going to scale up. I'm going to start with just Bomb of the Summer Court. As a bonus action, I can spend dice from this pool to restore HP. Um, I'd like to drop 2d6 on her. Okay. Lyra... Wait, Lyra, before you... I want to hand over my, like... I want to hand over my, like, scarf thing for you to use as a mask. Because you're going to be in contact. Oh, thanks. Just discreet, yes. <laughs> contact, no? Isn't that... A, oh, it's the yeah, bomb. Yeah, right. it's you still... You can apply a bomb. Technically, the bomb something. I can do uh, yeah. and to anyone within 120 feet. Oh, shit. Oh, but nice. I, I saw you're, yeah. you are cool interacting with the yes. sick. I do not want you getting sick. Also, if I could just make a medicine check and see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, you can make a medicine check. And uh, that... Before, before that happens, before... Um, what, I, <laughs> uh, what I would like to do is I'd like to... Um, 
lean down and and touch Lara and then do my bolstering magic thing because I can do that. Ooh. I haven't done that yet. Cool. What does uh, that do? Let, we just let, old kicking you up. You, <laughs> you yeah. Uh, you get to basically add a D three to uh, for ten minutes. You get to add a D three to an ability check or attack roll. Um, I can also use it to regain an expended spell slot of, for someone, but for right now, I just... I you want to add that to the medicine that. check? Yeah, uh, well, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, so so for Lara, Lara's the one that I touch, um, and I confer the 10-minute one. So for 10 minutes, whenever she makes a ability check or an attack roll, I guess, she can mm -hmm. you can add a d3. Okay, that'll be a 16. Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's, uh, all right, let's break it down. So, when you bomb of the summer court, you uh, do feel that the human woman is very warm. Her temperature must be incredibly high. But when you do heal her, it kind of drops down to a more reasonable uh, temperature. And she takes a deep breath, like a long relief, like a weight has been lifted off of her chest. And you can see that the hobgoblin woman just kind of goes to her side and clutches her hand. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, oh. that's, we've done all that we can do here just yet. Um. And with your medicine check of 16, yeah, this is unlike anything else you've seen in terms of sickness or infection, except for one. The peculiar pearlescent scars are very reminiscent of the glowing chromatic shine of the blot. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Whatever this mm -hmm. is, it you might assume that perhaps the blot has taken to infecting living things as opposed to just husks, or perhaps this is something else entirely, that blot adjacent. Well, that does become significantly more worrying, uh, although it's not the most surprising thing in the world. Um, all right, uh... I can heal her more, but I don't have, like, the ability to remove a disease. I could try to dispel magic on her. I don't know if that would do anything. Can um, I Can I ask, um, have, it, is there anyone else you know of that's had this type of illness? Is this yes. a common illness in this part? Unfortunately so. This has been something that's been uh, in affecting Trevisetta for... Quite a few weeks now. Is there any treatment that you know of that reduces the impact, or...? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, the, the healers uh, up in the castle, but uh, the cost, it's uh, not something I can afford. I see. All I've been able to do is uh, buy a few potions every now and then with my spending money and uh, give it to her, but it only gives a temporary... Uh, temporary care for her but it always comes back of course have you tried well i suppose there's no need to ask i will pull out my potion of lesser restoration because i haven't oh. prepared that today but i can have it tomorrow um no, don't do it i can i can have it tomorrow <laughs> it's on my spell list i just haven't been don't able to swap them out since last it. time <laughs> Oh, where is word anyway? I feel like he'd be telling me not to do this. Um, <laughs> yes, I will. Uh, I will attempt to give her the potion of lesser restoration. Okay. I have such a big brain plan right now. I'm gonna cast invisibility. Ooh. Invisibility. Okay. Uh, you gonna it... like swoop under and like <laughs> rescoop oh, no. the potion? I <laughs> we really, don't waste it. I house. really hope you can't heal this woman. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find what out. Is your, what is your plan, word? Okay, that's fair to say. Um, so, step one is to go invisible. He said that their reaction times to these were immediate because they didn't want it to spread, which means probably these two are being taken to quarantine. And they're being taken to quarantine by whoever he was able to contact. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to steal the whoever comes. I want to steal their earpiece because they're probably less perceptive than him. Than him. I have a small oh. bucket of black paint that I would poke a hole in and try and attach it to the cargo. Ooh. So you're oh, not to make to so, follow So I can it. both so listen the, in on the future conversations we while having an earpiece paint. and later we can come back here and follow it. Okay. I see. So you're really hoping these guys get quarantined. I'll say mm. there's a just meta gaming here. There's a very real possibility to get quarantined even if I do cure her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This doesn't feel feel like the kind of city to be like, <laughs> they, "Oh, they good just... work, valiant heroes." <laughs> 
Yeah, but so just to clarify that, my end goal is either to get an earpiece that I can benefit from or, or learn where possibly, they're being quarantined. Yeah, or ah, I ideally see. the first and the second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Both if I can. And I'm going to take your cool. previous stealth and adding your invisibility, you can easily pick uh, like one off of a guard that you just find patrolling, unless you would like to okay. pick it off of Captain Arzier himself or uh i was either gonna i don't want to do that <laughs> i would want to pick it off of a, a roaming guard a roaming guard sure okay. on the same frequency either that or my initial plan was to wait for whoever comes to collect her ah he probably has that same channel earpiece so that's my immediate priority right now i don't even know if the other guards have them. okay yeah you i'd say you do catch a guard the a guard that comes this way Presumably the one that is going to assist Captain yeah. Arzier. If he has like a body carrier or something, some kind of marker. Uh, yes. And you can tell, you know, it's a uh, lengthy official guard uniform. It's one that you're very familiar yeah. with. You pick his earpiece. You may add uh, uh, Trevisetta, Trevisetta guard sending stone to your inventory. Okay. Nice. And... When the guard comes and meets Captain Arzier outside, you can see that uh, they seem to talk a little bit, and Captain Arzier is, like, glancing in the window every now and then. He seems hesitant. I like this guy. I think we can subvert yeah. him to the side of good. <laughs> I think we can not mess with him as hard as everyone else. I can fix him. <laughs> <laughs> And when you uh, when you pour the uh, it is a potion, yeah, of um, it is a potion of lesser restoration. Lesser I've restoration. had it in my inventory for a while. You pour it, uh, you down the mouth of the human woman, and mm -hmm. when you check kind of the sort of scars, kind of up her neck, kind of lifting her shirt, you see that it quickly dissipates down her chest, and then just checking her for any signs of it. It's completely gone. You seem to have caught it early. That is... Whew. Well, that's certainly promising. I'll just mark that off my character sheet. <clears throat> um, whew. Well, that could have gone worse. You can see the Hobgoblin woman is now just, like, completely in tears, and she just goes to hug you and squeezes you tight. Thank you, love. Thank you. Anytime. And, uh, Leira, you're going to get an inspiration from that. Oh, shucks. Yay. Thanks, boss. Yay. And then, Yay. just as this is happening, bursting inside is the other guard, as well as Captain Arzier, who seems in conflict. You can see there is regret on his face. And the guard kind of looks over. All right, where is she? Um, I think we're going to look in innocent confusion. <laughs> The hobgoblin woman is too beside herself to even notice the guard in. Can um, we can we help you? Did did the guard come with any like a cart to bring her on? Maybe no. Okay. Oh, did, that are they just gonna feels worse? Her? Yep. <laughs> that feels way worse. From from yeah, what you can no good from what you can assume, he possibly just going to lift her and take her. Hmm. Okay, and she seems unconscious. She's unconscious oh. now. Yes, the human woman is unconscious. Wake Somebody her up a little bit more. But <laughs> I, I can <laughs> heal her a little bit more. I think that would do it. But um, I think uh, suffice to say that whatever she was ill with, she isn't anymore. Well then, come on. What's all this about, mm. Azir? And uh, Captain Arzir just kind of looks around. He notices that the signs of sickness on the woman are completely gone now, and he mm -hmm. just uh, looks around. He looks to you, uh, the pilgrims, and is just um. He sighs, almost one of relief. <laughs> and he uh, just looks to the guard. Apologies, it appears that uh, my poor eyesight has failed me yet again. I'm getting very old, you see. Get this man some glasses. The guard, the other guard, just kind of scoffs and just pushes him aside, walks out of the door. Excellent bedside manner on that one. <clears throat> now, I believe we have a meeting that we're late to. Arzir leans in to you. Yeah. I do hope you understand this was a favor to you. I... I very much appreciate it. It is always refreshing to meet a man of honor such as yourself. 
And such a friendly gesture, too. Oh, hello, word. Oh, hello. Oh, by, the, <laughs> by the tree, where have you been? I didn't want to get sick. I was standing outside. You didn't see me. Is it because I'm short? That is not... <sighs> let, us, not what? let us go. It's not... It's nah, not kind. Right. It's I'm not scary. kind to make fun of him for being short. That's not a kind thing of you to do. He storms out, and uh, actually, before you guys have a chance to go out, you can see the <clears throat> the hobgoblin woman just comes. Wait, wait! I, I've got to give you something. Something for helping my wife. Oh, there's no need. Uh, please. I'll take it. <laughs> you you haven't been there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you mean we cured your wife. <laughs> she kind of reaches around, kind of patting herself. Where, where did I put it? Oh, oh, of course. And she pulls out kind of a, a shelf of a drawer, rummaging through, and she hands you a sheet of paper with some kind of scribbling on it. A deed Ooh. to uh, a small plot of farm uh, outside, uh, closer to the border. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that actually works great for word. <laughs> His monopoly scheme is working. It's uh, outside the border. Yeah. Where can we find this? Uh, to the west. I haven't been able to cultivate much there, seeing as, well, the blot and monsters by the border, but you adventurers, you're pilgrims, you've bested the dragons, uh, perhaps you could find some use of it. No one else is willing to buy it. We'd be happy to try, and uh, make sure your wife gets plenty of fluids in the next few days. Of I course. No idea what this recovery. Yes. Thank you. Does this deed transfer need to be notarized or I don't really know how. <laughs> nah, there's a stamp right here. We have I an see the stamp. <laughs> official watching this entire thing. We'll be fine. Yeah, he ordains it. Right. I I see you've already written your name on your word, which I, I well, what I which assume you meant to write. Yeah, I'm assuming this mark I, I here is I started and I just did like the, the claw mark thing. Oh, as long as I it's consistent to count the signature. Well, do, you, do you want me to write your name for you? No, there's already like ink all over it. <laughs> but you can kind of tell there's like Why did one you get this flat bucket full of print, black paint. It's like, okay, that's a couple. Of <laughs> Where are your hands covered in black paint? I don't really understand. Oh, you okay. Oh, you so, caught me black handed. <laughs> yeah, Our Zir starts to stomp impatiently. Okay, I have borne witness to the deed being transferred. May we now go meet the Lord? Yes. 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 Oh, oh boy. I have some future friends out there. Keep keep my Keep my uh, mask thing just in case, mainly for oh. your own protection. Oh, thank you. I have a scarf now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've, you've interacted with the I sick. It's for your own protection and ours at this point. I'm being precautious. Yes, Shemaya always keeps her face covered, so it didn't really occur to me very much. Uh, I'm gonna do a little like pseudo sleight of hand. I don't know if you want me to roll for it, but I'm going to take out my black bandit mask that covers my ears and put it in front of my face while also slipping in the earpiece. Ooh, okay. Um, Stealthy. Yeah, you just shoop, slip it in, and you can hear some odd chatter here and then of okay. uh, a few guards just talking. What was that about? Uh. Probably Arzir, he's getting old. Probably made another false call. Another? Writes a list of exploitable weaknesses nobody likes to see. <laughs> <laughs> he's perfect to be our friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's joining our crew. And you hear one Obata means family. We're getting we're getting soft tacos later. <laughs> and you hear one one comment. Well, what about Carlos? He was sent out to, to meet with him. Carlos, you there? Damn bastard must have lost his earpiece. Carlos is dead. No, I don't, I don't say that. <laughs> what, was, what was that word? Did you, word you say that something? Word? <laughs> Carlos is just two weeks from retirement. God. I'll right in parentheses, Carlos's. I'll find him. Carlos's uh, earpiece. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see these scribbled writings. <laughs> All right, note to self, prepare oh. lesser restoration tomorrow. It, it, it is actually fully canon. I've mentioned it, I think, twice now. Word can't take any of the notes that I take, but he uses a mind palace very effectively. <laughs> That's oh, how he keeps nice. all this info. I love it. All right, let's go meet with the lord of the city that hates us. <laughs> he all doesn't right. hate us. He just wants to use us. So you guys head up 
back to the castle, up to the top of the city, where people become ever more lavishly dressed the higher up you get. Mm. And you are escorted in to the Lord's building and escorted to what looks to be a large ballroom. Ooh. Mm. They've got big balls that they hold here. <laughs> Gala, gala episode. Every, <laughs> yes, fancy dressed episode. <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness! It is lavishly decorated with a long tables of gourmet food and entire feast, and uh, all around you are expressive, expensively dressed persons. Some of which are recognizable. It's quite famous. Uh, you actually notice a skinny fearbulg man with sleek red hair. It's the author of Lost in a Drift, the smut that you have. Oh, uh, buck. oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm looking at, I, I like pull out the book and I like look at the back cover and then it's I look over him and pipe. I look at the back cover <laughs> and I look at him. Uh, guys, guy, that's the that's the guy. Wait, do do I have his name? I don't know if I wrote. I just have Lost in a Drift written in my image. Uh, let's come up with yeah. one right now. Um, uh, Chingles. Chingles. <laughs> you don't have to keep that. McBallister the fourth. Ch- Chingles McBallister. Chingles Ballister. Ballister. <laughs> McBallister. Ch- Wait, is it is it McBallister. Chingles or J- Jingles with a J? Chingles. Chingles. Yeah. All right, Chingles, Chingles McBallister. McBallister. That that the word has fourth? the vibes of like something we should Google to make sure it doesn't mean something. Let me let me see. Yeah, I know. Like I know Shingles is a. Hold on. Oh, it's a kind of chewing gum. We're in the clear. Okay, fellas. he's a chewing gum. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like chiclets. Chingles McBallister the Fourth, author of no. Lost and Adrift. Wow, good work, team. That's the guy from your book. No, not from the book. Wait, hold on. I'm writing out his name. Chingles Mc. What is it? McBallister. McBallister. Like a ballast. The Fourth. The Fourth. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm writing it. <laughs> Can't forget that. No, not the guy. I mean, he's not like the, the airship captain from the book. Um, but the, uh, what did he, he do in he, the book? He wrote. He wrote the book. This book is his story. He put the words on the pages. Well, I mean, I don't think he put the words on the, the words. Got put on the pages, but he who, was the who told my, him the story. Then I can't no, really tell Shemaya like about this. She'd he hate came, this place. He came up with it. Here, I'll, I'll, let's go. So he made up everything in that book. Yes, exactly. Is that, you, that, is a, that is a psychopath. That man is crazy. <laughs> no, he's. A, I'm just. Can I go over and t- talk? I, I don't want to make this like a. Can I leave? Word? <laughs> yes, it, you you it. can. Walk but away. as you as you do seem to have a an air about you that really wants to meet want this guy, signed. Captain yeah. Arzir kind of uh, pull uh, grabs your shoulder. Oh. I'm sorry, pilgrims. We should not stray from our path. The Lord is waiting for you. All right. All right Perhaps you fine. can schmooze later. I mean, oh, that's right. He's a bugbear too. What an interesting. I one. wasn't trying to schmooze necessarily. I just I didn't. Anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out later. Get it, get it figured out, Why and I'll follow along. You on the shoulder, like it's okay. You did say he I was like a being... bugbear, right? Uh, no, he's a fearbolg. Fearbolg. Oh, furbolg. That's right. Yeah. It's always I'll... very interesting to meet your heroes. I wouldn't call him a hero, but I would like to get an autograph. I mean, I think I'll en- I've enjoyed the book so that, far. That I man has written enough it. words already. <laughs> <laughs> then he can he can write one more, just his name. I mean, he's got a long name, complicated name, but I still th- I'd still like it on the book. It's, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> oh, the pain. Thinking understand. of a joke and knowing your character can't make it. <laughs> so, let's continue. Arzir leads you, continuing, to a large table with a single person sitting at it, uh, eating his meal while simply observing the festivities in front of him. The elven proprietor of the largest potion-producing factory in all of Alinthi, Lord Nicholas Tejero. Wow. Oh yeah, it's Chin Guy. He's cute too, hurts me. He doesn't bother to look up from his plate as he uh, cuts a small piece of a familiar fish and pops it into his mouth with a fork. Is the chimera fish? He's uh, the lord of the other place, right? Not here. Right. He is the lord of here, although he is lord of Nuba Sky now as well. Oh, that <laughs> bastard. He was originally only lord of Trevisetta. I thought he was like a, what is it, an insurrection? What's it called when they take out your your political system and plant a new one in with a new... How I does no one yeah. know that? I mean, he does, he is doing that. <laughs> that is what he is doing. Uh, puppet but, government? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Puppet government. But, uh, Yes, he's sitting there, and uh, so you ask what uh, the fish was. You can give me a nature check if you 
So we should <laughs> a nature check on the fish. You said it was familiar. That's all. No way he'd eat a mutant fish. <gasps> Ooh, all right, Leira, you actually recognize what he's eating. It is a uh -huh. dangerous delicacy found off the shores of Satya, so this must have been imported. It is called lapis fish. Just a pound of it can cost a house, and if prepared incorrectly, kill a troll. And Lord Nicholas's huh. plate holds about a dozen of them. Oh my god. Wow, that's interesting. And they're really hurting for money here. <laughs> Captain Arzir salutes uh, Lord Nicholas and goes about mm -hmm. his way to have a better day. <laughs> so we, uh, uh, we lost your cart. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> uh, I mean... Oh, uh, he's leaving us with... Oh, God. Lord Nicholas, uh, <laughs> simply, uh, after he finishes his meal, dabs his, uh, face a bit with his kerchief and points to the... He finished all 12 No, not, not 12. He started talking. Not, oh, not all 12. Okay. He's just finishing his, uh, his current bite. Oh, I see. He does a, a little nod. Sit. Well, since you ask so nicely. <laughs> yeah, I'll sit. I'll sit. Oh, I, I want to. I'm debating <laughs> on being sassy or not. All oh, the urge. I'll be sassy when it when it calls for it. I'll sit. <laughs> no, that's your thing. You're sassy when it calls for it. I'm sassy <laughs> when it's not. Um, <laughs> Dissing your dad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking people. I'll sit and I'll say and I'll bark too next time. Next Ooh. time, not this time, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, playful still. I'll bite next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like playful, you know. So at your mention of losing the cart, uh, <laughs> what a way to open too. <laughs> <laughs> no, hello, Lord Nicholas de Hedo. How are you doing? Also, why did you say we? Buck lost the cart. <laughs> I lost the cart. Lord Technically, Ni the train contributed to the loss of the cart. Uh, Lord Tejero simply just looks at you, Buck. That is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. I was just, I mean, I've been saying the same thing the whole time. It, it really unfortunate, but we were able to get here, um, and we are still thankful for the, um, the help along the way. Yes, it was very valuable. Hmm. How's Nuba Sky? It is currently undergoing a bit of a transition, but hmm. in only a bit of time, I'll be sure to make it just as efficient as we have Trevisetta here. But that is not why... How's the, uh... Mm -hmm. How's the inn of our friend? Excuse me? Oh yeah, have you been there? Uh, what's it called? The sea? The sands? The sands? Uh, soft shores. The, the soft shores. Soft shores. The little, nice, bouncy tavern place, soft shores. Oh yes, the soft shores. I take it that you have, uh, turned it independent. Is that true? It is no longer under our jurisdiction. In a relative sense. I mean, do you consider us under your jurisdiction? Then yes. Hmm. Well, I have not kept up with it, if that is what you are asking. I do not have track of every single possible business that is going on in the entire kingdom. Um... Mr. Tahiru, we know that you're a busy man. We were told by Captain Azir that you had an urgent uh, need for us. Obviously, you know we're quite busy with getting the uh, the dragon hearts, so um, cut to the chase. If... I do. But before we do, I take it all the dragon hearts are still safely within your possession? Yes, thankfully. I will see them now. Will you? How lovely. I, I start eating one of his fish. <laughs> Do you now? I, I'll like reach. Are they all on like the same platter? Yes. Kind of in front I'll, of him. I'll reach for one. See how he reacts. You're not going to make and a check I'll or grab anything? It. You reach. He doesn't react at all. But you can yeah, give me an insight check to be sure. Okay. Can the rest of us bad. do insight check? Oh, God. You can only insight check if you reach for a fish individually. <laughs> <laughs> and I would also like... Uh, then I'd not. reach Fuck for... Fuck no. He is stone-faced. <laughs> killed by the But when, when you, like, kind of get up from your chair to reach for it, kind of with your mm -hmm. fork, you can see his eyes dart to your hand, but nothing else about his expression changes. 
He's now fixated on you about taking one of the fish. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a host. <laughs> well, I'm going to pull out the hearts that I have. Yeah, I don't have one. I'm doing this in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. Last so in my inventory I have Elias's and Cecilia's, but we might have divvied this up a I little have, bit. I have I have one too. I have Sergey's. He's, okay. At your challenge word, he squints his eyes, leans back actually. He seems to relax his shoulders a bit and gestures his hand forward. Help yourself. Okay. Uh I want to do uh survival check to see if like the one I grab is definitely going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, you can give me a survival I, check. I have Cecilia's yeah. heart, sorry. Okay, then it's not in my inventory. They seem to be prepared correctly from what you can tell and you did see Lord Tejero eat one just now yeah. from the you same plate. a tummy bomb last uh, Yeah, I don't, eat, I don't <laughs> care that much. I'm like, wait, is this coated in poison juice? Yeah. No, Nothing can that, kill that one's me sliding down my, my lizard gullet. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Like, I don't even eat it respectfully. I hardly taste it. Yeah, I mean, whatever amount that it did barely touch your tongue, it doesn't even taste that good, actually. It's a little bitter. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> he lifts one eyebrow at that comment. I look at everyone else. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> we're we're all holding scene. the we're all holding yeah. the hearts. I'm just making sure that we have the correct number of hearts. Yeah, yes, do. you have three. Okay. And when you present them, he seems actually kind of satisfied at that. Good, all is in order. You may store them away now. Word huh. grabs an egg. Now then. Hmm. <gasps> now then. <laughs> On to business. Mm -hmm. So, he kind of uh, just straightens his shoulders. I've come to give you an important mission, a new orders, to collect the Trevisetta's dragon heart and quite possibly arrest its owner. Huh? Excuse me? Arrest? Indeed. Miss Pavita, the acting dragon of this province, has decided to shirk her duties and abandon Trevisetta. She's now currently hiding out in Old Deosia to the west, beyond the border. Ooh. Oh. We could have gone there. Oh, wait. We're, We're gonna going have to. There. We're no, gonna out of we character. literally are oh, going to have to. And it's Buck's fault again. <laughs> what? How's this Isn't what? the witch How? headed there? Am I wrong? Oh, no, the is witch is headed south. She was well, going southwest. South, yeah. She's Southwest. going to Old Deosia, but Old Deosia is very big. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not my fault that she that the yeah. dragon shirked her responsibilities. Another we don't know that. Ex. No, we don't no know way. That. <laughs> did I did I marry this dragon? This name doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> Oh god, it's she like the stress she... of like when you're going through airport security and you're like, but what if I have a gun? It's like, but what if this is another of my exes? <laughs> she she heard that I was on my way. Uh, <laughs> funny photo of a dog was actually my nudes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand. It, uh, she the the dragon. Why did would she shirk her responsibilities? Doesn't doesn't the dragon understand that we have to get these hearts? Or I mean, the whole country could be doomed. Is she shirking some other responsibility? No, she has the responsibility of staying and being a part of the province. That is her duty as dragon and what she has sworn into. Has she given any indication as to why she decided to shirk the responsibility? I intend to ask her those questions as soon as she is arrested and brought back to Trevisetta. So she left quickly and quietly? It yeah, appears so. That's sort of my question is you said her responsibility is to stay here. And it sounds like she left to shirk a different responsibility. Oh. That is not the case. Whatever the reason may be, that is her secret to keep. But it is... So she's just sightseeing. She forsook her oath of dragon to keep her assigned province safe. Crime and discord has increased since her departure, and House Baztan's military has had to pick up the slack in her wake. Not to mention her being in possession of the dragon hearts necessary for the revitalization of the life tree means she is putting the entire kingdom at risk, and thus she is a traitor to Alinthi and its people due to her selfish acts and must be brought to justice for it. How, how long ago did this take place? I mean, I imagine you have a lot of security, including the Baztan mercenaries. Why not just get them to go and recover her. We have. Teams have been sent to return her, but the high density of blot as well as attempting to subdue an entire dragon is no easy feat. We've lost many good assets, and considering you have bested two dragons already, you may have better luck. I, of course, will be providing you with the best additional support I am able to f further the cause. How do you suppose that we find her? I mean, old Deosia is a pretty big area. Is there somewhere that we think she was going to? 
And why are you accusing us of besting two dragons? We well, bested three. Well, we we acquired the hearts of three. They didn't all make us fight them. Yeah, but only we know that. Master oh. Word, it's my job to know what goes on in Alinti. Aye, hmm. what a big job. Uh, he says that, obviously giving me a very, like, daggery eyes, but the moment someone else starts talking, I do want to do a sleight of hand and steal one more fish <laughs> uh, to, gi- to give to Nonstop Begonias. <laughs> Does Nonstop Begonias eat real food? I'm going to teach him. <laughs> oh, okay. So I you're just fix him. you're pocketing it is what you're doing. Yeah. Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay, you pocket the fish. <laughs> pocket fish. <laughs> and <laughs> to to, to so nobody's well notice. <laughs> well done. You may add later on. <laughs> slimy fish. Lapis fin to your inventory. Okay. <laughs> Where it smells We've... slightly stranger than usual. I, th- I think you have us kind of in a awkward position. I mean, we obviously we have to retrieve the, the heart. That's kind of our goal, but um, before we head into Old Deosia, we just had come from a long day of travel. The cart got lost, and we were wondering if maybe we, there's a place that we could find to, to to rest, at least. But is this something that needs to happen like, right now, right now? Given that she's been absent for clearly some number of weeks, given the state of the city, I imagine that one more day wouldn't hurt. Hmm. She has been gone for over a month, and the other lords and I have kept this news a secret from the public as to not cause a panic. The rumors are spreading quickly. Is that around the same time that that sickness showed up? Mm. That is not information that I am privy to. Mm. I thought it was your business to know. (laughs) (laughs) He also said just before that that he doesn't have eyes everywhere. Doesn't know how our business is doing. He well, feel like this wins guy's at just... this. I am not here to debate the finer details of my business. Of course not. He has a crush on us. <laughs> However, in well, order to assist I you, should. I will gladly offer help. In which case, brings me to... He pulls out of his uh, kind of breast pocket what looks to be some sort of arcane gadget of some kind. Oh boy, another tracking device. (laughs) It looks to be something along the line of manacles with a crystal holding them kind of levitating in the center. How fashionable. Uh, Trevis had his newest piece of arcane intervention, Imperian Fetters. This will allow you to track down the dragon as it has been attuned to her like and capture her preventing her from escape. It ensures complete, utter dominance over whoever it is latched onto. If I, if I recall, the 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 dragon of this is like a tief, it's a young tiefling. If I young correct. when she started, she's probably within her. She, she was like st- yeah, relatively she was like young. She's like in her, yeah, probably yeah, yeah. in her thirties to early forties now. Okay. But I remember her it being that like she was like the youngest dragon like, yes. ever. Yes. Uh, from what you remember, the comment from uh, that you learned in Tigamura, sworn in as a teenager. Yeah. Okay. My oh, goodness. Well. Does she? A lot did, older than <laughs> historical societies. I'm. I'm not saying that. Yeah. And I get that you don't have all the information. Is there a reason that she'd go to Old Deosia? Old Deosia is one of the most dangerous regions in the entire continent. Presumably, she does not want to be found. Yeah, that's a fair place for a powerful person to hide. Well, I'm sure this will be a long and arduous scenario. I believe we'll take what rest we can get while we can get it. Hmm. All right. I would appreciate that. Who's going to take the magic hand? <laughs> I can I can hold them. All right. Okay. You may add Imperian fetters to your inventory. Do they also have a tracking device on them? I guess you can find out. They technically I can do. Use my... They literally Yeah, they, they well, literally they track, track her, her yeah. but like I'm just going to presume I mean, we don't trust this guy. Why don't we just of act as though? We don't trust this. <laughs> I mean, he knows we're going there, so why do we care if he tracks us before we get to I her? just think it's funny that he's got a brand. Yeah. A very lazy brand, too. He's only tracking us. Yeah. And he's like, I know everything. And we're like, oh, yeah? What's the capital of Canada? And he's like, oh. <laughs> Follow-up question one and two. 
<clears throat> okay, cool. Can we get out of this dumb party now? I'm gonna say, while you guys clearly don't like him and are like, I presume, <laughs> emotionally perturbed by him, let's let's see if you can keep your cool. I'm gonna need everyone to make a charisma check. Ooh. Oh, oh boy, just a straight charisma? Straight charisma. See if you can keep your cool. Hmm. This is like a save. <laughs> Bam. Aye! Uh, yeah, that's that's your flat charisma. Oh god, you Buck! <laughs> you can just hit the button at the top of your <laughs> screen. Okay. He thinks I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I we shared fish. We're basically best friends. We are bound in fish and blood. So everyone <laughs> He's except my blood brother now. Everyone except Word seems to tip him off to kind of your internal feelings towards him, as you can see. <laughs> I just straight tell him, <laughs> and he he just seems to lean back a bit. Is there a problem? I mean, you're not the type of guy to trust anyone, so it's fair that we would put you in the same company. We found a tracking device on the uh, card that you gave us. Oh, you just, okay. I rolled a one. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's a fair point. Yeah. Yes. What's funny is that was uh, the same time that we lost it. Yeah. We noticed it right when it was obliterated by the train. <laughs> And that's not why we lost it. There was, there wasn't, there wasn't a good. We had a good reason for losing it. I'm not saying we got rid of it for that reason, but I fail to see the problem with putting tracking device on my product. The card is of my company's make, and it is in my best interest to know where it goes, that it does not fall into the competitor's hands. Okay, Google. <laughs> Would you fault a chef for keeping his winning recipe away from a competing restaurant? I would if it was a gift to someone who wasn't a chef. Mm. But Look, that's digression. The fact is, Lord Tejero, we don't have to like each other. We're all working towards the same goal, the well-being of Olympi. Of that, we can agree. I'm nailing this social interaction thing. Yeah. Parties are easy. And we also all appreciate the finer things. Mm. It's like, I'm sure many people here don't like each other. I'm sure you can look at many people in this room that you don't like, but you are here with them. Indeed. It is not about it what it, there is to like or liking each other at all. It is about what is best for our personal interests, as well as the interests of the entire country. <laughs> yes. You know what a lot of the strong say, that trust is a weakness. Hmm. You, Master Word. Mm. I would like to have... Another moment of conversation with you. <laughs> if you must. At some point in the future. Oh. <laughs> I think I'd like that. We can leave you two alone if yeah, you Yeah, I, I would love to not be shine, in the room. Can arrange right. that. <laughs> there are matters that I wish to discuss with some, someone of your personage. Ooh. He pushes. I, I genuinely, kind of shocked, I give him a mutual nod. He, at that, he pushes at that the plate a little bit closer to you. I hope you enjoy the fish. Hmm. He gets up. Well, that is all the help I can afford to assist you. Those manacles are not cheap. Be sure to keep them safe. And not to worry, they will not work on anybody <laughs> else beside the dragon. They have been attuned to her. So. Oh. Well, how convenient to see how they work. Well, the, maybe, maybe someone else should carry them and not me. If I, I don't have a good track record with the hero stuff. I can put it in my inventory. <laughs> I, I'll hold on to them. It's not okay. a video. Great. Um, let's well, get out of this party as quickly yeah, as possible. Wait, please. Is, well, before so we go. He's taking his leave? He is, yes. Before, I, before I gesture fish. to my friends that we at least enjoy his banquet. I'm not uh, touching that fish, but you have fun. But I I'll, like, as I do else. that, I'm kind of waiting for him to leave the Chuck E. Cheese so we can talk. Yeah, he, he <laughs> eventually does walk out. He, shows he his doesn't hand stamp. He doesn't yeah. speak to anybody, and you notice by his stride, every time he gets near someone, he doesn't have to make a single comment or gesture. They instinctively move out of the way without even having to take a glance at him. Wow. Make way for the king's guard! <laughs> those videos. Does he have any guards here with him, or is this another like power move? You can make a perception check to see. I'd love. To make you a don't notice check. any out oh, of the blue. I'd love to make a perception check. Where was that last time? Okay, <laughs> you look around and you can see that there are guards hidden, kind of in like upper banisters in the shadows. Some of them dressed as if they are regular party goers. They're just around. You are surrounded by them. 
very camouflaged. Well, I do appreciate how upfront he is with his horrible, horrible personality. Me too, but that stupid motherfucker left us so much <laughs> fancy fish. Don't eat any of it. Let's go around the potty and sell it. I want to sell my piece to that gonna... fancy book writing guy. I'm sure he has money, and I know he's not good at spending it, and I want some of it. I don't think we should eat it anyway. I'm sure they prepared it perfectly, but it's not really worth the risk. Nah, they put, like, fish. lemon and cardamom. Ah, it's bad. <laughs> it okay. <laughs> yeah, you, turn, you turn around and the Buck fish. and Fritz are eating the fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, like, I'm just standing there a bit sad, like, what did you eat? Well, <laughs> Fritz, you can uh, have one, but you also got to sell one. Deal? Oh. Yeah! I'll be Eat sure to first. prepare a lesser restoration tonight, just in case. And I'm, I'm, I'm beelining it for the what's for the name? author. Uh, fucking yeah. Chingles. I wrote it down. Chingles McBallister the fourth. The fall. I'm following. No word. Wait, hold on. And I'm following word. Okay. <laughs> I do not have a po fish. portrait for Chingles McBallister the fourth. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't have fancy on our desks by Monday. <laughs> Fancyman.jpg. If you're watching, make him in two minutes. Please draw <laughs> He's a fancy a skinny furbolg man, and he notices you bounding towards him, and he seems to have a <laughs> wine glass so. in his hand. Of course he does. Okay. Guys like this just come with wine glasses in their hands. My good sir. Do you know what pairs perfectly with that year's wine? Um, lightly toasted bread? <laughs> Your palate is remarkably refined, but I have something even better. Ooh. And I'll hold up uh, garlic. The, the lap lightly like, toasted garlic bread? <laughs> plated this guy lapis is fin. so bland for a <laughs> smut peddler. <laughs> <laughs> with mayonnaise on it. <laughs> I, I hold up the, the fin and I'm like, this is an immaculate dish that can be found only in distant lands. I offer it to you now for a slightly increased ticket price. You see his face scrunches up a bit. Was that lapis fin in your pocket? <laughs> oh no, I'm holding a freshly plated one. Oh, a fresh one. Plate. plated but, but, one, okay. Yeah, before him, ah, I, I was see. gonna My get, offer him just a bite of it. Retcon, the pull out. <laughs> Retcon, I, miss, uh, I misheard. Oh. Okay, yeah, I, I plated one of them since he gave him one. Oh, Lapis Finn is so last week. But wouldn't you like to be transported to a different time? <laughs> you got you there. If I wanted to be transported to a different time, I would simply read one of my books or practice one of my personal mages to learn chronomancy. What offer do you have that this little fish can transport me where a specialized wizard cannot? Well, you see, the magic of a natural flavor is infinitely stronger than anything contrived by a mage. This is not just magic, this is an art piece that you have experienced before, and it'll take you back to that time. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> My persuasion isn't that good. I like... What? Baffling. I like that word, uh, you know the what? rogue. Oh, yeah, you're gonna use her inspiration? <laughs> I'll drop my inspiration, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my <laughs> god, wow! <laughs> Destiny demands whoa, 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 whoa. mediocrity from you today. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good pitch, too. All right, let's see if he falls for it. <laughs> He's an author. Let him be dumb. Please. <laughs> he this is coming. This down. is coming from someone who's written a book before. <laughs> like, yes, to be like very clear. Like, <laughs> buy Logan's book. <laughs> yeah, buy my book. I'm an idiot. Buy my book. He leans down, kind of examines it a little bit, takes the fork to lift the fish just to check the underside of it. Hmm. No. All right, how about something new? A day egg. You wait a day and then you eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna step in at this point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't assassinate his favorite romance author. <laughs> <clears throat> Think of what it would do to culture. Kill him. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Senor McBallister. Yeah, fine, have your time. I'll be elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, please excuse my friend, uh, Senor McBallister the Fourth. I'm a big fan of your book. Lost in a drift, and I just I was wondering if I could get a signature. You read my book? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I've read the book, um, uh, the, the story of Aldian and Never Gone, um, and their love uh, blossoming oh. on the on the decks of the King's Mill. 
Um, mm. Well, of course, I'd be happy to sign anything for a fan. Here, follow me. How'd you like to be ex-husband number one? And he kind of leads you... He leads you to kind of a sectioned-off portion of the ballroom where there's not a lot of people. I'll, I'll give a thumbs up to my friends, and then I'll, like, tell them, like, I got this, and then I'll go off by myself. Great plan. Good Did we have party. some sort of plan here, or...? I have a plan to sell my fish. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, right. The fish thing. Let's do the fish thing first. Are you actually going to okay. try and sell your fish? Or, or rather... Oh, yeah! But not here, right? <laughs> oh, no, oh. here. Oh, here. You're going to do the thing Ward did. This is selling oh, water no, by the no, river, no. guys. Okay. I have a yeah. way better idea. All right, let's, let's see. see how much I can fuck this up. Seashells. We can go okay. one tier down in the city and sell this fish to people who've never even seen this fish before. But they don't I'll, have money. I'll take one and then I'll take the crumble. It's true, they don't have money. Food. All right, then. I'm going to look for a table that's somewhat cleared, right? Okay. Like, not a lot of people at it. Maybe, like, two, three people. Yes. Or like no top, oh. no food. Oh, no food. Like there's okay. no one. No one's on it, and oh, oh. no one. It's all clear. Clear right? table. Just okay. Yeah, yes. you do find one. We're gonna set up shop. <laughs> and I take, I imagine what's probably a white, you know, over the top. Pull it up, wrap it around me, trying to look as much like a chef as I can. Um, and I'm just like, <clears throat> is anyone ready for an entree? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm ready you're gonna. For performance. You're gonna. Okay, <laughs> performance or deception to try and act like a chef or waiter. Performance. Okay. Performance isn't as high as I thought it was before doing this. Wait, it's both my deception. Oh, they're the same. You know what? <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Okay. Hey. Someone hey. snaps their fingers. Waitress, over here. Oh, <gasps> I'm, 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 I'm going to quickly scoop up. A um so like the silver like empty thing that they serve stuff on and mm -hmm. I walk over with the fish on and I'm like hello mm. hi is that lapis fin I'd like a few yes but how would you like to see it within an experience what kind of experience I like my lapis fin presented as it is but wouldn't you love it delicately flay flay what's the word. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, in Filet. Common Filet? is not my first language. Yes, flayed. Oh. For in front of your Filet. wonderful eye. Filleted fish. Well, you speak it very nicely. <laughs> oh, thank you. I've been studying so party. hard to be able to serve people like you. I'm just like gritting my teeth. <laughs> oh, well, oh. What, what land do you hail from? Oh, where am I from? I forgot. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm so bad with names. Like Sacha? Um, Word like walks by and whispers. What do you know about orphans? Satya, I come from. I am just a mere humble from the docks of Satya, so I'm very experienced with these fish. Oh, oh okay. The the woman kind of like nods over to the other person by her taper, table. Thank you for working for us. Oh, <laughs> I hate this party. I hate this party very much. We appreciate your service. It's a pleasure to be able to work with such fine fish. <laughs> Not talking to them. Yes. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, now, what is it that you present to make the fish better? Filet. Have you ever heard of it? Of course I've heard of it. And she leans over to, like, her partner and she's like, what, what, what is she talking about? Isn't that just a sandwich? <laughs> no, you can flay a fish. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, cut in half, basically. Oh, I thought okay. <laughs> you're extra yeah. preparing them. <laughs> Is that some sort of Sachian dish? It's a technique used for many different fish, but is exquisite with lapis fish. Mm. I'm, I'm I don't know if actually this is true or not. I'm, am I lying? <laughs> <laughs> you are lying, but this this rich folk doesn't know okay, shit cool. about preparing food, <laughs> from what you can tell. <laughs> She go, awesome. She nods. Oh, I would like to try it. Of course. And I'm going to pull out my dagger because they didn't take our knives. So No, they didn't. And I'm just going to cut it in half and cut it in half and then with it on my knife, flip it over so both sides of the center are open. And be like, look how wonderful the texture is once you cut fillet it like this. Ooh, she does a little clap. Mm, very good. Now, I will warn you, you already, of course, know the exquisity and exclusivity of 
thin, but once filleted with this technique, it does go up in price. That won't be a problem for you, would it? No, of course not. How much? 20% increase on the already existing market price. Hmm. Oh, that's nothing. Here you go. She kind of hands you, just reaches into her coin purse and hands you small <laughs> coins of a different make that you have only rarely seen. Mm. Are those the millionaire coins? Is this platinum? <laughs> the chameleon. She gives you th three. She gives you three of them that will e equip... <laughs> She gives you three. Hold on, let me roll this. <laughs> <laughs> roll it. Yes, she gives you three okay. coins of which it's make you've only seen it's like a few times before. So as to not weigh down the aristocracy with too many of them, you receive mm -hmm. 3,000 gold pieces. Oh wow. my god. Okay. In value. Oh. I get two of those. I'm trying to hold oh. back my... Um, um, or and be like, hmm, wow, would, uh, would you like me to follow you to your seat so you can enjoy your delicacy? Oh, y yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have 29 gold in the bank right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to wait for them to sit down. I take off the white thing that I'm wearing and I lay it on my lap for, as a really big napkin and I put it on the table and I go, please enjoy your meal. And I very quickly scurry off. <laughs> Let's get out of this goddamn party. <laughs> I'm gonna rub this in words face so much! <laughs> <laughs> you ate the fish that was given to me, you owe me. <laughs> so I, I am I am I can't believe that worked. <laughs> It's, it's not my fault. I, I, tr I tried to sell to a psychopath. I didn't know he was that crazy. So, that dude likes toast with <laughs> wine. You asked for 20% increased mark in price because each mm -hmm. fish costs 15,000 gold pieces. Mm. So, so, yeah, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> I've still got wow. a fresh one um, in hand and a dirty one in my pocket. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, I'm doing some maths. So you, yeah. In the meantime, while you're doing maths, Buck, you bring author, God damn it, uh, Chingles. Chingles, <laughs> yes. McBallister Chingles, the McBallister the ball. Uh, and you, you're kind of sectioned off. He pulls out a quill to sign your book, and that will be to. Um, uh, uh, you, you can make it out to. Uh, Hold on, one second. <laughs> What's happening? Of course, of course. You wanna make, uh, I want to know if... Uh, you can make it up to Bernard uh, Baccarat. Bernard Baccarat. Oh, well, thank Bernard. you so much for reading my book, Bernard. And uh, can I please uh, give you something in, in confidence? Uh, something in confidence? Yeah, yes, yes, uh, it's, of course. Sure. A, a little... He, he leans in. Please, take me out of here. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I am not cut out for this high life. I thought schmoozing with this rich folk would be nice, but I don't know how much longer I can hold it. I want to have a nice, pleasant, cold bath in my old mucky hut and just have my old meats and this this high rise food it barely fills my belly and i have to smile all the time wow this place truly is horrifying top to bottom i don't know what you i just don't understand what i don't understand what you want me to do the political hoops people jump through and the social cues they give i can't anymore everyone wants something and i need to get out Okay, like all right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, listen, uh, uh, just calm down. I'm My sure books can... don't even sell that well. It's just a ploy. They well, fail, and then they can mark okay. them off as failure so they don't have to pay tax on them. Uh. Right, okay, all right, you've, okay, I see you've put SOS here on the on the signature. That is fine. Look, I, I, I can, we can, uh, you can leave with us if you want. I don't know how to not make you be a famous author anymore. I don't understand how to how to fix it. 
<laughs> they or, have their or, clutches or in me. What's going on? Okay, you're still talking. Go ahead. <laughs> they um, have their clutches in me. I can't leave. I'm the, I'm the way that they try and funnel funds into whatever projects they have, and then they can say, oh, they're patrons of the arts, but then uh, what is an artist whose art is never seen? I, I smack Whoa. him. <laughs> oh! oh. No, it's not, just get a hold of yourself. <laughs> now. <laughs> You're right, look, I'm sorry. Right. Okay, it's, uh, okay, just try and calm down just a, a brief moment, okay? <sighs> I, I, I know you're uh, apparently very disturbed, but when Audian was on the King's Mill and he was fighting the, the, the hordes uh, of the great Batarian Sea, he didn't, he didn't freak out. He, he had ever gone beside him. And the, and everything turned out okay, right? Like they, like just like in the book. So everything's gonna turn out for you. You just need to relax and, and be strong, okay? We like Audian. We like Audian. Right. Don't say that out loud. Hold on. Just just deep breaths. Um, I'm like looking around for. Are we like? Can I see my friends? <laughs> yeah, you can try to leave this part. You can see that um, Fritz has just finished her little thing and is like power walking away from the scene of the crime. Yeah. I'm being shooed away from my rich, <laughs> my third rich person. Lara um, has let's... been at the outskirts of the party since <laughs> Lord Tahera left, just like hugging the wall. Do Do you have a? Pl- can we? Why don't we just leave? The, where are the pilgrims? I'm a, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a pilgrim. I didn't say that earlier. Um, <laughs> I, I, so y- maybe we can show you, you can show us the city. We can leave under the guise of that. And then we can figure something out. I don't think it's best for you to be here at this party. Okay. Um, okay. You're sweating a lot. Okay. I'll, let me put you down here. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. I, oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, oh. Thank you, Bernard. <clears throat> he kind of like uh, just call me uh, just call me Buck just uh, just you, bu- Buck it's fine <laughs> yes well Buck uh, thank you for reading my book and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the chapters right right uh, and I'll be looking forward to his, uh, well I won't be looking forward to a sequel because I think that is part of the issue if I'm getting that right so don't worry about it I don't need a sequel you ended the book perfectly I'm uh, sure so let's come here why don't you Follow me over here this way, and I'll just like walk. Um, yep, he with follows him you. My yep. Are we meeting up with you? I'm gonna try to make eye contact with you and like kind of give you the high sign, like try to like. Okay, w- I am. In fact, I will try to like wave you over, like to come with me. Duh. Me worrying, I'm gonna be a waitress again. <laughs> <laughs> and walk towards Lara, who I think is. Le- Lara is very close to the door, I imagine, so I'll begin to uh, walk towards As close to the door as socially <laughs> acceptable. Possibly her. closer. Yeah. All right. Hi, Buck. So, yeah, you guys getting close to the exit, and you can see that Buck is being accompanied by the skinny Fearbolg, who is definitely keeping it together. Good, good. Most most parties adopt, like, a small goblin child or something. This is a full-grown man having a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, Hi, Buck. Uh, hi. Uh, oh, it's that guy. Pilgrims, uh, this is my uh, friend uh, Chingles, and he's just gonna be—he's gonna be accompanying us. He's gonna show us the the city. He he told us he'd show us the city. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, so uh, he had some time in his day, right? And um, he's gonna—he's gonna show us around. But I think we should go now. Is there anything else you guys need to do here? No, we need to leave fast. Uh. Yes, I think we should find a tavern and arrange lodging and prepare for our nightmarish excursion into Old Deosia tomorrow. Uh, all right. Um, I'm excited. Uh, let's lead the way, Senor McBallister. Oh, of course. <laughs> I will show you my favorite places. And he w- walks on out, and as you guys leave uh, the ballroom and the kind of Alinthi official lord's building. Uh, you head out, he takes a deep breath, and he books it and runs the other, just a completely other direction. Freedom! <laughs> All right. No, oh. uh, uh, should we run after? <laughs> Your new friend is very squirrely. I didn't realize we were walking with him. Could I have tried to pickpocket him? Oh, do you want to pickpocket him? I would love to if you'll let me. You know what? Yes. Give me a sleight of hand. Thank you so much. What else is a big city for? Oh, oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you pickpocket him, and you find a list 
of presumably scratched out titles or ideas for other books. Uh, there's okay. about a dozen names on there, but one that has a circle all around it. And okay. I'm going to let you come up with what that name is. <laughs> I can't read. Okay. <laughs> do, do you need to show me it? Well, out of game, you can come up with what the name is. Oh, okay. Um, the Ballad of the Great Angel Chingles. The Ballad of the Great Angel Chingles. That's the one with all it's, the circles around it. It's supposed wow. to be like his swan song book. Mm. It's, a, it's an autobiography. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll call out. It, it was nice meeting you. No response. What a strange city. That guy city. didn't have any money. No, uh, uh that, well, that he's guy. an artist. <laughs> 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 oh, Buck, here's that some more signatures for you. Um, okay. I'm like looking through. What, it, what, what am I looking at? These are all signatures. <laughs> it's the list of failed book titles. Or, oh, <laughs> no, that's not. These are book titles. Let me see that. Huh. I'll hold on to that. Maybe we'll see that guy again, and he might want yeah, this. Right. Um, sorry, that guy seemed very disturbed. Um, I guess the highfalutin laugh style of uh, Trevisetta kind of got to him. Uh, I do not blame it. Uh, I got talked to, in a way I have not been talked to since I was a child. Uh, oh, no. Well, we need to find some place to rest for now, yeah. I presume. So, were we in the fancy Star Tavern? No, that... you were not. You oh, were not okay. given any offer to stay there or any compensation to stay there either. But if you wish to go there, it is going to be the more expensive one. However, for now, just take fish yes. Yeah. Gold. yes, for now, I would say you walk on out with the kind of landscape of Trevisetta and the bordering land of Old Deosia now within arm's reach of you, looking out to what tomorrow may bring. Perhaps something hopefully better. But that, sadly, is going to be where we call the session today, a shorter one. Oh. Uh, uh, but, I, uh, yeah. Before we, can I split the money? I went to You can, money. yes. <laughs> no, not everybody. That was find my Find somebody who gives us change Shush. for, like, three, like, turbo <laughs> platinums. Uh, so between everyone, you all get 750 gold. Wow. Oh that is goodness. more money than I think I have ever had. <laughs> we would love to argue, but that's fair. Mm -hmm.